YouTube. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you had a great Friday, great end of the week, if it's your end of the week. If not, hopefully you're having a great work day, if today's a work day. Anyhow, <clears throat> I thought I'd do another installment in my 80s series videos. Um, Chris the Pick and Piper made a comment on one of my videos last night about uh, hand crank phones, which got me thinking about other phones. So I wanted to talk a little bit about rotary phones and party lines. So, breaking in a new one. This is a, <clears throat> it's kind of a second. I don't think he calls them seconds, but it's from the Pipe Nook. It's a 2077 LA Series 3, 9 millimeter. Love kind of the saddle bit. I'm getting big time back into straight pipes and getting out of the bents. So maybe I'll have some up for sale or trade. We'll see. Uh, I do think also while I'm on the topic, I am going to cull the herd a little bit. So look for a video today or tomorrow about tobacco sales. I've got some esotericas I'll probably look to move, uh, some Carolina Red Flake, um, some uh, Sansa Pokro, some small batch stuff. Not my, uh, not my sun bear though. But I'm going to look to move it. I've been smoking the heck out of Carter Hall and just getting back into that. I don't know if Carter Hall, if putting age on it really matters, but this has about a year on it. <clears throat> and the chocolate boozy flavor is phenomenal. So I'm going to buy another tub of it, put it in another big jar, <clears throat> put an eight, a year on that, and just keep them rotating for about a year. But this is a second. Look, it's got some blemishes, which I dig. And I love that Eddie sells these, you know, a little bit more inexpensive. Fantastic pipe. Passes a pipe cleaner. The drilling is great. There's nothing wrong with this pipe. Uh, it's just got some blemishes that he didn't want to sell at full price. But, hey, I'll take it, Eddie. Thank you. But um, anyhow, let's talk about growing up in the 80s or 70s, really. So I vaguely remember a little bit of the late 70s. I was seven or six, seven. But rotary phones and party lines. Today, I you know, I get a kick out of the videos you see. Uh, the kids really don't even know how to... Uh, use a rotary phone. If they find one at a thrift shop or something, they just look at it like, what the heck is this? Trying to keep some fire on that. So we grew up, I, I grew up in small town, Ohio. And for years, we were on a party line. So I don't know if anybody had those or remember those, but the party line was multiple people in your neighborhood shared the same phone line. So if you picked up the phone and you needed to make a call and somebody else that was attached to your phone line, the other party, our neighbor, was on the phone, you could just listen into their conversation. They'd hear you pick up and say, well, I'm on the phone, hang up. Sometimes, sometimes you could just sneak in and listen. As a kid, I, I was uh, a little unscrupulous and did that a few times, but uh, it was never anything pressing, but always used to frustrate me. You want to make a daggone call and somebody's on the daggone party line and, you know, you'd have to tell them if it was an emergency, hey, it's an emergency, I need the, I need the line. Uh, never was an emergency, but I was just a kid. But there was some times where I was on the phone, and uh, sure enough, um, they broke in in an emergency. Can you hang up? So we would hang up, and they could use the phone. But rotary phones, man. Uh, when we lived in Michigan and bought a house, in the basement there was an old-school rotary phone still hanging on the wall. And, uh, I mean, nobody that I know of has home phone service really anymore. I, I, some people may, but uh, very few, very few. It's all cellular or cable, uh, cable phone or internet phone. So all, all flows that way. So um, 
but dialing. How much of a pain in the butt was it, especially a long distance? See, I'd one, and then God forbid if they were in a, like an area code that started with a nine, six, whatever, wherever they were. Can't keep this lit. Today we're spoiled. Just hit the button in the truck. Call Mandy. Boom. There it is. Don't even touch nothing. No dialing, no nothing. Boom. Calls her. Same thing on your phone. Call so and so. Done. One button pressed. So, you know, what was your experience? Did you, I, you know, and I'll never forget the time we, we got our first freaking cordless phone. Now, that was amazing. Love the cordless phone. And then, you, you know, the push button dial. That was, that was big time. Big time. I will tell you. What I miss most about the rotary phones the old school phones is if you were mad, you could slam that thing down and hang up on somebody and they would hear the bam. You can't do that now <laughs> on your cell phone. You, you hang up on them. It just goes dead. But man, that, that was, that was poetic. If you were upset, you could just, boom, and they knew you hung up on them and you were pissed. And that was, that was great. So love to hear your experiences. Anybody have a party line? I'll never forget when we got off our party line and got a private line. Now, that was awesome. Thought we were the kings of the world at that time. Kings of the world, man. We got a private line. Which was fantastic, man. So, Chris, pick a paper. Thanks for putting that bug in my ear, man. That was cool when you were talking about a hand crank phone. Now, I do not. I've never used a hand crank phone. But he was just kind of joking with me last night in the comments and Said, mentioned that. So got me thinking about rotary phones and it got me thinking about party lines and it got me thinking about my 80 series. So here we are. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, 207, man, apple shape. Love this thing. I, I love this straight pipe saddle bit. My change in taste, maybe somebody's gain. I may have some pipes coming up. Like I said, look for tobacco, a culling of the herd. I've got some stuff I'm probably going to move. I'm not going to gouge anybody, but it is going to be market price. I'm going to, you know, this stuff, I've got eight ounce bags of and so to bed, Pembroke, Margate, um, quite a few others. The Penzance is staying, I'm sorry. Um, don't have any Stonehaven or Peacehaven, sorry about that. But uh, I've got a bunch of the Carolina Red Flake um, from the small batch this year. The cool thing about that is if you, if you want it, it's already got some months on it. I know they're going to come out with it again this year, but <clears throat> you can buy it with some age on it already, a little six months or whatever. Sands of Poke Row, same thing. Uh, they're going to probably come out with it again, but it'll it'll have this will have a little bit more age on it. And if nobody wants it, that's cool. It'll sit in the cellar, and I'll smoke it. I don't smoke a lot, and you know, shoot, I've got pounds of tobacco that I'll never smoke. I just don't smoke. I don't smoke ten bowls a day. I, I smoke maybe on the weekends or maybe five, six bowls a week. So a tub of Carter Hall would last me a year probably. But back to basics. Back to basics. Loving this Carter Hall. Wishing y'all the blessings in the world. Take care of each other out there. Pay it forward. Uh, if you get the chance to help somebody, take care of somebody, do something special for somebody, take that opportunity and do it. Have a great day, everybody. We'll catch you later.